All right, we're recording. Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, what are we doing? What are we talking about? We're talking about N64 programming. That's right, you guys have been after me to do a video like this for, oh God, I, I don't know how long it is. I did one about five years ago and it was just a very basic uh, video where I demoed some of my code and process and it was horribly done with a GoPro. And I know that a lot of you guys have been asking me to try to jump on board and do some more videos regarding N64 programming and learning how to code for it. Um, so this is going to be the beginning of uh, my N64 programming primer series. And it's just going to be me sharing with you guys things that I've learned uh, regarding N64 uh, programming and the code for that. And, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It's just my way of, uh, that I've learned things that I've learned, my approach. Uh, there's tons of different ways to, to work with it and different resources, different code. Uh, but I'm just going to share with you guys what I've learned and things that I've come across and to get some basic graphics running. And, and hopefully it'll just help you guys get started, you know, and get you moving with the code. And because uh, I know a lot of you guys have, have been after me to do this. I did one a long time ago, about five years ago. And uh you you guys have been bugging me to do it because i think there's a lot of people out there that love learning visually and uh having a, a like a video tutorial done is is really appealing hence youtube that's why we're here right and uh, but again there's tons of resources out there online like resource pages links manuals documentation software tools you know and there there's lots of uh, uh different people different websites that provide lots of information and you know, I'll talk about those as we go, um, and uh, and just help you guys get started. So this is this is going to be me helping you guys. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys before you actually dive into the code. Things that you should know, some basic concepts. So I'm going to review those today with you guys, and that that'll be the beginning. That'll be the first video of my N64 programming primer series. All right, let's uh, get this started. Here we go. Okay, so some of you might have some programming experience. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're just a hobbyist or, you know, a gamer, a collector, uh, an artist, you know, musician. You might just have come across or have, you know, found it interesting uh, for, you know, in, with the idea of programming for the N64 and you just want to learn about it. So, you know, again, these videos that I'm going to be putting together for you guys, I'm going to try and keep things in layman terms, keep it simple, you know, show everything in step by step as best I can. And again, hopefully you guys can learn from it. It'll, it'll just help you guys get going. So my tip number one is learn C programming. You should know that language inside and out as best you can. If not just a little bit, you should, you should have some experience programming in C language. And the reason for that is because the N64, that's the primary language that it uses. Uh, the N64 does use assembly language as well, but that's mainly for optimization of certain functions or certain features that you want to implement. And also for doing uh, what they call microcode, which is sort of like the uh, firmware that runs on the uh, hardware uh, in the N64 and, and interprets all the code that you're going to be writing. And uh, uh, so, but in the beginning, you're not really gonna have to be worrying about that. Um, but uh, just keep in mind that you can do assembly if you want, but it's just, it's not something that you're gonna be writing an entire game with or your entire demo. Uh, you'll primarily be using the C programming language. So it's good to get the basics down with that, the fundamentals, and all, have a good understanding of pointers and also structures. Uh, it's good to have those because they're used a lot in uh, programming for the N64. So tip number one, learn uh, the C programming language. My tip number two is to get familiar, have a little bit of experience uh, using OpenGL or DirectX. It's uh, an old uh, graphics uh, programming language that started out and the N64 uh, has like a sort of a, uh, it's based on that. It's not, it is a little bit different technically, um, but if you're, if you want to program on the N64 and you go and you have a background and have some familiarity programming with OpenGL, 
you're gonna see some similarities between the two. And so when you think about it, the, the internet is, has tons of resources for learning OpenGL. There's tons of tutorials, there's tons of online documentation and whatnot in comparison to N64, which you know there is, but there isn't, you know what I mean? So uh, it's uh, every developer that I've talked to, they said it's, it, if you can go and learn a little bit of OpenGL graphics and even the legacy stuff, if you can learn some of the old stuff, uh, it's good to know. And uh, again, you get a little bit of foundation there and then going from that, going then diving into the N64 code, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, now I understand what's going on. I can see how this relates to OpenGL. Uh, but again, it is, it is different, uh, but you will see some similarities. So uh, tip number two, learn a little bit of OpenGL uh, graphics and uh, I'll have some tutorial links uh, for you for learning the uh, legacy versions and uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out. So that's tip number two. Okay, so my tip number three is to understand what matrices are. In 3D graphics, everything is made up of triangles and all the points that make up a triangle, they're all interconnected into mesh, uh, you know, maps and whatnot that you get. And uh, all those points, which they call vertices, all have coordinates. And so you can imagine all these vertices, all these triangles and all the coordinates for that information to make up a, a three-dimensional model. Uh, that information is stored in what they call a four by four matrix. So there's a little math involved with that, but uh, if you're gonna be doing 3D graphics, you have to understand how those work and how you can manipulate them and multiply them together and change uh, the coordinates for all that. And that's essentially how you get you know, a dynamically changing uh, graphic three-dimensional model. And so that's what you're doing. So definitely understand what uh, the four by four matrix is or matrices. That's tip number three. Okay, so my tip number four for you guys is to be familiar with the N64 graphics pipeline. And what I mean by that, so it, it sort of relates to my previous tip where I was talking about matrices and understanding that, uh, that concept. Uh, that information, all those coordinates for all that information about your model, there's a certain flow of how things are manipulated uh, for graphics, both the N64 or OpenGL. Um, it's what's called model view projection, and or you'll get model view projection matrices. And understanding that flow of how that how the manipulations change, and that uh, that pipeline essentially. Um, having a good understanding of that and just at least reviewing it and, and understanding how that works will definitely help you out. So that's my tip number four. And again, I'll have some links for you guys in the description of the video. Okay, so tip number five. Uh, I know a lot of you were asking me, you know, can I use an emulator? Do I need a flash cartridge? Uh, so I do recommend a flash cartridge. If you guys can get a hold of an EverDrive X7, uh, it's highly recommended. Uh, and the reason for that is that it has a USB interface which allows you to do some debugging work and uh, quick loading, which is great for when you're testing out your, your code. Uh, so that is highly recommended. Again, you can use an emulator, but only do that if you have no other option uh, because they're kind of buggy and sometimes you'll get unexpected results. And you'll notice too, if you go from one emulator to another, you might get different results and your code reacts differently. So, I mean, you can you can use an emulator, but uh, definitely just do it if you're just, you know, messing around and you're just checking something, you wanna just have some fun. But if you're, if you're trying to debug something, definitely uh, I would highly recommend testing on real hardware. And the way to do that is with a, a flash cartridge. So um, I'll have some links uh, two options, but uh, primarily I recommend the EverDrive X7 model uh, because of the USB interface. So that's tip number five. Okay, so tip number six. I want you guys to bookmark ultra64.ca website. Tip number seven. I recommend that you guys join the N64 Brew Discord channel. Uh, I'll have links in the description for those, uh, but they are amazing resources. The N64 Brew uh, group are just amazing. They're uber smart, crazy, <laughs> and uber smart uh, regarding N64 programming and code. You know, I get by, I do what I can, and I learn and I tinker around, but whenever I get in a, you know, stuck with something, and even you know, regardless of what area of code it is, whether it's something super simple, 
or you know something super complex that's just blowing my mind um, you know they're they're such a great group and they're they're totally willing to help and it's just awesome so definitely join n64 brew discord channel and also ultra64.ca website that is an awesome resource to have for all the software that you need for the SDKs, the OS uh, tools, um, other links to other resource pages. And uh, it's just awesome. So definitely bookmark that. So that's my tip number seven. So that's it folks. That concludes part one of my N64 programming primer series. And again, it's just gonna be me incrementally adding new tips and new things that I learned regarding N64 code. Over time, I'll just keep throwing one up here and there. And, you know, hopefully it'll just be a really good resource for everyone to have and get going with N64 programming. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. So thanks so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you guys can. It's always appreciated. And we will see you guys in the next video. So take it easy. Ciao.